Welcome to the 2008 North American International Auto Show. Clearly with the price of gas approaching $4 per gallon, that's the theme of the show, that's what's on minds of consumers. James? Well, what's been exciting about this show is that we're seeing technologies available for sale now that were just talked about a few years ago. You've got hybrids from a lot of new manufacturers, from General Motors, Dodge, new ones from Ford coming. There's a new fuel cell vehicle available from Honda, and diesels are coming to this market from BMW, Mercedes, even from Honda. And these diesels are not the ones you remember from the 80s. And probably one of the things that is not gonna really get picked up by the press, but I think it should, is Ford's EcoBoost system. Where the impact of this and the importance comes from the fact that they're gonna roll out this technology in over 500,000 of their new vehicles in the next 18 months. In essence, this is a technology using turbocharging and gasoline direct injection to be able to take a small engine but give it big horsepower. So you can use a two liter four cylinder engine and get two liter four cylinder economy but get the power of a three liter V6. And when you start thinking about how much fuel that's gonna save but still give the consumers the power and the responsiveness that they demand, in so many different cars and so many engines all at once, it can really have a big impact on our dependency on fuel. GM announced a partnership that should bring the price of ethanol down to a dollar per gallon. And Chrysler, they used this show to show off three hybrid concepts. And on the Dodge Zia, we might be seeing a brand new trend. Maybe you saw it here first, an illuminated grill piece. Over at the BMW stand, he had two new diesels coming. Yeah, diesel. This is something that American market has not seen for a long time. The American market is going to love both in the 3 Series sedan and the X5 SUV. This is the BMW X5 3.0 SD. The big news is not this automatic tailgate, it's the fact that this is a diesel. A hybrid, which has a BMW spin to the hybridness, so it's gonna be a lot more powerful, a lot more fun to drive, and the Hydrogen 7 Series, which has just started limited distribution now. All the manufacturers are looking for ways to get the most power out of the least amount of fuel. BMW is doing it very innovatively with turbo technology. In this case, two turbos. Give it some gas, the smaller turbo kicks on at first to build up the power. When I give it more gas, the bigger turbo kicks on, much more efficient at higher RPM. Using two turbos, different sizes, gets the most power per gallon. The GM wants to build on the excitement and buzz they got last year from the Volt, and they announced the Cadillac Provoke crossover, another fuel cell generating a lot of buzz. This is just the kind of car the market needs. And in the Mercedes stand, they continue to push their Bluetech technology, which is essentially their version of diesel. It's going to be on just about every model in their range, and it's pretty exciting. But well, if this show is any indication, 2008 should be a very pivotal year for the auto industry. There's no doubt about it. And what's exciting about it is that there's going to be so much consumer choice. You want hybrid, diesel, fuel cell, Ford's Echo Boost. It's not just hybrid is now green. There's a whole selection of green choices to make. And the consumers are the ones that are really going to benefit.